Well, Brianna, there's a breakdown in order. That's uh, simply what has been happening in Baltimore. And uh, uh, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, the mayor of Baltimore, said that there was too much focus being put on the leadership of the Baltimore Police Department. Murders have been spiking in, uh, and, and violence has been spiking in the city, as well as arrests have been going down. Here's how the mayor put it in making the change today. Too many continue to die on our streets including three just last night and one lost earlier today. Families are tired of feeling this pain, and so am I. Recent events have placed an intense focus on our police leadership, distracting many from what needs to be our main focus, the fight against crime. So we need a change. This was not an easy decision, but it is one that is in the best interest of the people of Baltimore. And Brianna, 147 murders so far this year. The number of arrests down dramatically uh, in the last couple of months in Baltimore. In May, there were 1,952, 3,200 in, uh, in April, and 3,100 in March. It, it goes to show you that beyond the disorder, the murders, the shootings that are pretty much a, a fixture of Baltimore life, uh, there's also been a slowdown, frankly, in the number of arrests being made by police. And so the question has been, you know, what can Anthony Batts, the commissioner there, do about it? Uh, so far, it, it has not uh, worked. Whatever, whatever prescriptions he's offered have not worked. And so that's the reason for the change. She's uh, appointing Kevin Davis, who is uh, the deputy commissioner there, uh, to lead the police department to help fix things. Uh, it's not clear whether or not he's going to keep the job permanently. We had heard last week that the mayor and the office uh, here in, down in Baltimore had actually reached out to some potential candidates. So we had an inkling that this, this news was coming. We didn't know it was coming today, but we certainly expected that there was going to be change made, made there.